Welcome to the March edition of The Daisy Chain. And in March, we celebrate International Women's Day. Amongst many other activities, we celebrate it by wearing a touch of purple. But it is only fitting that for this edition, I hand over to the young women of our community. Hi, I'm Lulu. And I'm Poppy. And today we're here with the girls who attended the International Women's Breakfasts that were held over the past week. And today we're going to speak to them about these experiences at these breakfasts. So Maddie, what breakfast did you attend? Well, Alexis and I attended the International Women's Day breakfast in Mornington that was hosted by the Frankston and Mount Eliza Rotary Clubs. And Maddie, what was the most inspiring thing you took away from the breakfast? I really loved like learning how these women were able to take nothing and turn them into startups and their own businesses and um, not-for-profit charities. And it was just really inspiring to see what these women could do all, the, all by themselves. Oh, and Alexis, what does International Women's Day mean to you? International Women's Day means balance, um, both how we manage ourselves and our dreams and how we achieve them, but also making sure that both genders are equal in their opportunities. And Georgia, what breakfast did you attend? I attended the Australian Defence Force International Women's Day morning tea. We got to sit with really high-ranking women and men in all different branches of Army, um, Navy and Air Force, and we just got to network and meet some really inspiring people and learn different kinds of careers that aren't always talked about. There was a lieutenant from the Navy named Lieutenant Grandings and she is a working mum of two and her husband also serves and he's always deployed overseas. And she gave a great message about how it's never too late to stop growing and to stop learning. And she's managed to raise her children and live such a successful life. She's so high ranked. And so it was just so amazing to see that this kind of change exists in you know, the eras that we exist in too yeah. and we can be a part of it as well. Exactly, that's great. That's great. So uh, Alessandra and Ivy, what breakfast did you attend? Um, so Ivy and I, we attended the International Women's Day breakfast run by the Women in Rotary at Crown in Melbourne. And Ivy, was there any sort of message that you particularly took away from any part of this breakfast? I feel so inspired when the past president said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. Yeah. And we are the one we are waiting for. And I believe we all have the skill and our skill can make a huge difference. So true. And what does International Women's Day mean to you? Um, to me, it's like really inspiring to see so many women do so many different things. And we've all gone to different breakfasts and seen different women in different um, jobs and careers. And I think that's really cool for us to see our kind of future and where we can head towards after school. Okay. Thank you so much, girls, for sharing your experiences today. We've learned a lot and it all sounded like you had a great time. Bordle House celebrated International Women's Day by holding a sausage sizzle to raise funds for our charity, One Girl. We were lucky enough to have Sarah from One Girl come to our SRC meeting to interview her. And today we're here with Sarah from One Girl to talk about our charity initiative for this year. So Sarah, would you like to tell us a little bit about One Girl? Sure. We are a Melbourne-based organisation, a not-for-profit, that supports girls in Uganda and Sierra Leone with educational opportunities. So our mission is to harness the power of education to drive change for girls and their communities. So how can educating girls from Uganda and Sierra Leone affect the rest of the world? So it's pretty remarkable what happens when you get a girl in school. So girls that are in school, for every year that they're in school, they earn an additional 10 to 15% income each year. So girls that are in school, they, when they get an education, their children are more likely to be healthier and to get an education themselves. So girls that get educated, they're gonna send their children to school and those kids will go to school. So you're creating this generational change. So girls um, that are educated, they're more likely to have control over their own lives. Yeah. They're more likely to get married later and to have fewer children. So girls who are educated are actually contributing to this fight against global warming yeah. and climate change. So getting girls into school in Uganda and Sierra Leone impacts not just on the individual girl, but on their community, on their nation, and even on us here in Australia. Yeah, and what does, what can we do as students at Turak past the, our fundraising efforts? What can we do on a more of an outside of school basis to help one girl? By Turak College and by you as individuals, fundraising through 
barbecues or free dress days or anything else that you choose to do, it really does help us get more girls in school. And it's talking about the impact, talking about what happens when you get that one girl in school and the huge impact it has on her, her community, her nation, but also generations to come. Thank you so much, Sarah, for your time today. Now, I'd just like to implore the viewers today to think about putting yourselves in the shoes of a 12-year-old girl in Uganda who doesn't have the opportunity to go to school like so many students here at Turek College do and really think about the impact that you can make in not only changing this girl's life but changing in education on a global scale. It has been fantastic to see our girls really showing spirit and making a difference in our community, but it doesn't stop there. Earlier this month, our sailing team competed in the annual Girl Sail event where they demonstrated their skills and enjoyed a beautiful day out on the water. Also in March, our rowers headed out to the head of school girls regatta on the Balan River. It was wonderful to see our rowing team giving it their all with so much support from the riverbank. There are still so many events to come in this term. Our musical performers will embrace the opportunity to take the stage in the upcoming soiree on Tuesday the 26th of March and will once again entertain us with the Autumn Music Concert on Thursday the 4th of April. Wardle House families will enjoy an opportunity to come together on Friday the 29th of March. Bring your picnic and get involved in some fun family activities. A selection of food will be available on the night. We hope you've enjoyed this special edition of the Daisy Chain. We'll be handing it back to Mrs Kendall who will be hosting next month's Daisy Chain. Thank you.